So now the next diagram which will be important for your examination is embryo sac which is a three mark question. So next diagram is embryo sac which can also be known as female gametophyte. Now what exactly is, like, is the property of this diagram and how to draw this? Initially we will draw one oval structure like this. Okay, one egg shaped body. Okay. In this egg shaped body, we are going to give another covering which is nucellus layer. So right parallel to this, we are going to draw another line which will actually represent nutritive tissue known as nucellus. And on top what I'll do is I'll draw two large cells, bigger ones, two big cells like this. Okay. And then there is another cell which has been drawn over here. At bottom, I will draw three cells called as antipodal cells. And at the center, we have diploid polar nuclei with two nucleus over here. So we'll draw one nucleus here, another one over here in the synergids and one egg cell nucleus. In synergids, we'll just draw finger-like appendages called as filiform apparatus. Okay. This is how you'll draw the diagram. The outermost wall layer over here is known as nucellus. Then we have antipodal cells. After antipodal cells, we have synergids over here. There are two synergids. Synergids. And then we have an egg cell. This is how the structure looked like. And the central cell which has been placed over here will be known as polar nuclei. Now, what is function of each cell you need to remember? Because in CBS system or even in state, what they can do is they can ask you draw a neat label diagram of female gametophyte and then explain. If they ask you to explain, Make sure you write side headings. Sabse pehle you'll write what is embryo sac. Okay? It is seven celled eight nuclei structure which is developing through megasporogenesis. Okay? In this, I told you seven cells. Let us count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three cells on micropylar end, three cells on chalazal end, and one cell at the center. Three plus three is six and one. Seven cells. 8 nuclei, if we count the nucleus, nuclei number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 nuclei, okay, 7 cells, 8 nuclei condition is observed. You need to explain each cell, you write synergids and write the role of it. What is the role of synergids? It is the one which will attract pollen tube. Pollen grain falls onto the stigma right away, very far from the so-called embryo sac. But it is being guided exactly towards embryo sac. It is because of this filiform apparatus and synergids which release chemicals which will attract this pollen tube towards itself. Right? Then secondly, we have egg cell. This is the female cell which will fuse with male nuclei to form zygote which will develop into embryo and that will form seed. Then polar nuclei is responsible for development of endosperm. So endosperm formation is a property of Polar nuclei. And what is nucellus? It is nutritive tissue of developing embryo sac. Okay. Then finally, antipodal cells. They will extract nucellar nutrition and then give it to the embryo sac. From outside, it is going to push it in. Okay.